On July 28, 2008, Ambassador Tuttle at the American Embassy in London received a letter from an organization called Marine Environmental Monitoring. They said that an American sea turtle called a Kemp's Ridley sea turtle had been found in Devon in January 2007 and had been nursed back to health but that they were having trouble getting the necessary paperwork to return the turtle to the United States. Could we help, they asked. You bet we could. Hello, I'm Jock Whittlesey. I'm a diplomat at the American Embassy in London, and I work on environmental issues, so Ambassador Tuttle asked me to look into the situation. I immediately contacted the people in the United Kingdom who were directly involved with helping the turtle to see what had been done. What I found was an amazing situation that had a happy ending in April 2009. But let me start at the beginning. Willie, as she was later named, was found off Devon, nearly dead from cold and hunger. She had been rescued by some good Samaritans and taken to the Sea Life Center in Weymouth, an adventure park and marine sanctuary. There, Willie had been nursed back to health by marine specialists. The problem was getting her home. The Sea Life Center and all the people involved thought it was best if Willie went back to the United States and returned to her natural environment in the warm waters off the southeastern coast. Easier said than done. Kemp's Ridley sea turtles are an endangered species under the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, or CITES. Because of that, Willie needed special paperwork from wildlife authorities in both the United States and the United Kingdom. I got the necessary information from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and soon the paperwork had been submitted and approved for Willie to return to the United States. That was in November 2008. Then we had to wait for warmer weather. Finally, on April 23, 2009, Willie went home. But what a difference on this trip. This time, courtesy of American Airlines, Willie was flown directly from London to Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina, along with a marine animal specialist from the Sea Life Center and a BBC film crew. Willie was met by a veterinarian who pronounced her fit as a fiddle, and then she was driven to the Karen Beasley Sea Turtle Rescue and Rehabilitation Center on Topsail Island, North Carolina. By the time you see this video, Willie will have been released and should be happily swimming around the ocean, enjoying her life as one of the world's rarest animals. Thus ends our part of this swashbuckling saga of adventure, danger, rescue, and caring. Can you imagine the stories that this tough little sea turtle will tell her friends?